All right, so first things first, let's talk about the equipment requirements. Let me show you the gear that I'm gonna be using today for the demonstration. Number one, and most importantly, I've got the computer here. I've got a MacBook Pro, and I'm running the most recent version of Ableton Live. Next, I have a USB hub. Now, I have several pieces of gear I'm going to be connecting, but my computer only has two USB ports. So, I have a powered USB hub so that I can connect multiple devices. Make sure it's powered as well, because some of these devices need to draw electricity in order to operate. Next, let's talk about the MIDI controllers I'm going to be using. In front of me, I have the Akai APC40 MK2. This is going to allow me to have hands-on control over all of the features inside of Ableton. Volume faders, clip launch buttons, and much more. To my right, I have another piece by Akai. This is the MPK49. It's a MIDI control keyboard. This is going to allow me to play all of my virtual instruments, drum machines, keyboards, synthesizers, and so forth. Here, I have an audio interface. When you're doing live performance, chances are just working with the built-in output of your computer is not going to be enough, especially when we're doing live looping. We need an interface so that we can run lines in. So this allows me to run microphones, and other instrument sources into the computer. The piece I'm using today is an older interface, but it's by Native Instruments. It's called the Audio 8 DJ. It has eight inputs and eight outputs. Should do perfect for today. Aside from the interface and the controllers, I've also brought a few different instruments to work with today. Got a guitar in the back here. I also have a little touch sensitive synthesizer here by Korg called the Chaosolator. And then of course, a microphone. I'm using a Shure SM57 mic. It's got a little windscreen on it, so it makes it look a little different than a normal 57. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna have some fun with these. These are the tools that we have. Lastly, I've got my headphones right here. When we're doing live looping, sometimes we'll want to send a click track into our headphone mix so that we can hear it, but the audience can't. Watch the next video, and I'll show you how to set everything up properly inside of Ableton.